Hello everybody, let's go to the exercise number uh, 47. Uh, I promised to show some exercises for, for, uh, for the vibrato and in the capsula that is Spanish an exercise in English I, sh I showed in the 46 how to do the two colors. No? So let's say we start with a very small um, difference of sound that can get bigger when we want crescendo. Now we will do the opposite. Uh, we will have a big accent to a very slow, low, low level uh, intensity sound. And this accent we make with the mouth. So remember exercise uh, number eight, nine, ten. Like that. Who wants to learn vibrato? has to go through those exercises until they work because it cannot be that the lung goes into the mouth uh, you cannot move anymore so it's to, to stop to stop the compression here and from here on to have only speed so, and not so it's actually the, the thought coming from this exercise um, now you do instead of the voice you give your own sound and you, you hear the accent coming from the mouth which is much bigger than if you would do with the whole body because the whole body eliminates himself by having an overpressure in the mouth so we come to pick up the instrument. So you can also try the one. It'll be a bit ugly sound because there's no ambush. So, but you see that it's, it's a soft sound and it's, it's a high accent. So this tactic of this exercise is we have a lot of harmonics in the accent and we have a dark sound and now we grow with the sound towards the, towards the top so that we have just a small a small change left over and we have a few of those and we try to smooth them which gives give the vibrato so I have two things in my head like from the mouth to get the accent is the bass to have the sound quiet and this accent like throwing something very fast from the mouth then from now on I think I have to accelerate a little bit the throws and I have to make crescendo with the basic sound so in the, in, 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 instead of having you know these two colors very near to each other they're like in the one before we, we start on the other end of the thing big accent smooth low sound and now the sound grows bigger and bigger and bigger until it's just left that small so then we will get very intensive and big vibrato which is not bad to have for many things so Actually, in this exercise, I'm catching up my accent with the sound so that the accent is getting a vibrato unit. But instead of like that, I want it like that. So that we have waves. I imagine always things when I do it. I mean, imagine uh, in the nature uh, a low, low sea water and then a big mountain and another big mountain like that sticking out and then in the time you know, many thousands millions of years that water is growing growing so instead of the big mountain we get them just islands and in the time also the wind and the erosion has made take off the point of the islands and so we get this and now we have the vibrato so you 
growing the water is growing your sound this stays the same like that <coughs> that means you see we come from the other end mm, to have a big big accents too big to be a vibrato because we want just a small color change but we want we need the intensive vibrato for many places in the music do low c low c level high mountain until here it's just a physical movement still don't feel it natural it's like somebody doing something and I don't want that I do something I don't want to. it's an artistic question so I want that my sound does something not my body so of course there is some activity in the mouth that is concrete physics no I want to change from the physics into the air movement which means instead of moving myself here I want to point with my air at that place so that it would move like the leaf in the wind. So at that moment I concentrate my blowing here and not here. It will go there, but already with the vibrato. Of course, uh, in nature, I'm here, you don't see it, but outside I see some trees, they are completely quiet now, no wind at all. But sometimes comes a little wind and I immediately see all the leaves move. They have no muscles, <clears throat> they just have, they are free in the wind. Try to be free in the wind in your palate and then this is the moment that it will be really a vibrato. When I feel it's like that, I try to make crescendo diminuendo to look if, if my air gets more intensive. This should get more intensive. My air gets lower, slower. It will be less intensive. So first I search the physical accent, converting to the islands, converting to the vibrato, physical vibrato, then I try to feel where is the movement and then I think okay I will blow there to make it move like the leaves in the wind. And then if I feel that's the case I make the test crescendo diminuendo to look if the vibrato comes with me. We have a fast vibrato, intensive vibrato, and a quaver. We cannot <coughs> wait for it. This will be in another capsule. We will look into the music. So this is an exercise. The one with the pyramids in the water, growing water. Time takes off the, with the erosion, the point, and it gets it gets islands, and the islands will get the vibrato. And you let the air <coughs> at the end. You let the air do that. So it's a complete exercise. We will stop here, and I say bye bye. See you later. Bye.